by Mum. Hi guys, I'm Natalie and welcome to Chat with Nat. Number nine. <laughs> I've got my notes here, I have to have a look. Um, first things first, I'm going to take a gobble of my cup of tea. Mm. Hot. And secondly, I've got a fair bit to show you. Well, not a fair, fair bit, but I've got a few bits to show you. Now, as you can see, just hiding down here. We'll start with my fours, shall we? Now, I'm counting it as a four, but I need to weave in the ends. But I've finished it. So let me undo it. Which way around were we? That way. So here, do it this way around. Here's the stitch marker, well, the progress creeper of where we were before. Sorry, the light's really going to blow this out. So we had the first, first repeat, second repeat, and we're just starting on the third. I got the third done. So it is all finished, apart from weaving in the ends. So I got that baby blanket done. And do excuse my face out of the screen while I fold this up because that is also a sold object. <laughs> the second thing I've done, I started the call the midwife blanket. Oh, sorry. It's really warm here today. And <laughs> my dog's deciding he's going to cry because the children and are at school. <laughs> sorry, but <laughs> that was needed to be done. <laughs> right. So here is my call the midwife blanket a really pretty oop, border on the edge absolutely beautiful love it and it is done really enjoyed making this so fun to do it's one of those patterns that you start and you don't want to put it down i think at this one i got this one done quicker than i did the zigzag one <laughs> but i really enjoyed making it and i'm gonna make some more with the new yarn cakes I've just got. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Actually, yeah, no, we'll go on to whips because one whip coincides with a four. So, oh, the rattling. The lady who asked me to, yeah, that's finished, make, oh, it's nearly finished, very nearly finished, but not quite. The lady who wanted the uh, striped blanket uh, the zigzag blanket also wanted a little snuggie to go with it so here's it was supposed to have been a hexagon and i decided to make a pentagon by accident but it looks nice so there's the bottom part and i just need to sew on excuse the tails because i'll leave them until i've sewn them a cute little lily fern isn't it sweet until i put the nose on he actually looked like a mouse <laughs> but it's my own little pattern. I was just having a little play. He's even got a happy smile. Sewn the eyes on, which I didn't enjoy doing. I hate sewing. But, oh, do excuse my tummy. It's on the right grumble. That is how he's going to look. Isn't that sweet? So, yeah. There's that. That's a whip because he's not attached. But it'll only take me a couple of minutes to do. So there's that and then my other whip is I'm just trying to remember whether I actually took my hook out and actually <laughs> put a stitch marker in I think I did I hope I did I did <laughs> it is my study of planet earth I'm still working on week six but how pretty is that looking so pretty so this is it well, here is a part of it, because I can't get it all in the screen. But, there it is so far. It's looking so pretty. My little boy is so happy with it. So happy. So, I've just pulled yarn all over my living room. More out than I needed. <laughs> oh, well, it's going to get used. Oh, I'm in one of the moods today, guys. I don't know what's up with me. <sighs> right. 
the stress of going back to school, that's what it is. How people think it is such an easy task, it's not. Not when you've got an autistic child and not when you've got another child who is so bright and likes things set in certain ways. If it's not done that way, which it isn't because it's all just changed at school, everything's thrown out. It just turns my children upside down, confuses them. My daughter was so excited to go to school yesterday and when she got home from school, she doesn't want to go back because it's different. She's in the process of getting diagnosed with autism and people, well, the teachers, I'll do it this, the teachers don't seem to understand it is a very long process, especially when you've got to try and do it off your own back. You've got the doctors telling you you've got to do it through the school, you've got the school telling you you've got to do it through the doctors and then when we finally actually get somewhere, the appointment got cancelled. So what should have been done over the school holidays is now getting done through school, which my daughter has just been told if they have time off, whether it is medical or not, they get into trouble. My daughter's got her autistic tests in York. That's an hour and a half drive from where we live. And it's at 11 o'clock in the morning. I've still got to get my son to school on time in the right routine and then I've got to try and get over to York on the train in time for her appointment and the school have decided nope you can't do that you're not allowed so sorry if this offends anybody but tough luck to the school my daughter comes first <laughs> and then the day after her birthday she's got to go all the way back to York again for her uh update and check up on the fact that she's just been diagnosed with scoliosis and the school again don't listen until you have that piece of paper in your hands stating yes this is what my child has got this is how you need to deal with it i've only just found out my daughter's got scoliosis for 13 years i was told it was her legs and twisted femurs it's not do you know how awful i feel for the fact that I've been trying to tell my daughter all the pain that she's been getting. It's nothing. She's fine. There's nothing wrong with her. And then I get told she's got scoliosis, which my sister has. And it is very painful. I feel so goddamn awful. Sorry. <laughs> you know the days when you just want a hug from your mum? <laughs> I can't get that anymore. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Let's go to my happy place. <laughs> I've got some new yarn. Oh, <laughs> sorry guys. <sighs> Run over. <laughs> Right, I got some new yarn. I have got this one. It was a great big, I'll show you the box first. I'll put the back in the box and then I can show you the box. Where's the other bit? Cause I actually got some, oh, it's over there. One second. There we go. <laughs> I'm there. Right. Oh, wet eyes. <laughs> right. There we go. Side. <laughs> Cup of tea. Cup of tea always makes it better. Or it does for me sometimes. Cup of tea and crochet. The big C's. <laughs> right. This was the bag I was trying to get. Because in here is some cotton. I got some cotton yarn. And with that bag, I also got ugh, this huge box <laughs> full of yarn <laughs> happy place it's needed right just let me move this because when i picked the box up i took my blanket on the floor <laughs> right 
I'll start with my cakes because I've only got three. So I saw them on a picture because it was a friend that texted me. My mum's got this. Do you want it? Yeah. <laughs> Daft question. <laughs> so I saw this one. And it is gorgeous. Look at those colours. So beautiful. It is 100% acrylic. Uh, it's 150 grams, 540 meters, made in Turkey, and it's called Rainbow Cake. There's no colorway, that's what I was looking for. Oh, hang on. No, <laughs> there's no colorway. Oh, well. Who was it that was saying that they were having a run of these? It was Nicole at Darab Creations. I'm going to steal her word. The colorway for me is Grello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. I shall link in the description box. Isn't that beautiful? I've got two. And they pretty much match. Oh, my dog. Ben Ben. So, I've got those two. Now, I thought there was three, but there isn't. There was only two because the third one... Hi, baby booch. Are you kicking everybody? Hey, you kicking my camera stand? Being a big baby because... Oh, sorry, guys. My dog's got a big butt. Let's mind you up. There we go. Shush. He's going to be a baby because the children are at school and he's missing them because he's used to them being at home. Aren't you, bups? Hey, come back to school, baby. Anyway, as I'm st sat here stroking my dog, <laughs> this was the other one. Isn't that gorgeous i love the colors together i wouldn't put them together but they look fantastic together they're great and i've just noticed something there Jack, stop stroking him and he cries um oh what on a 40 Oh, sorry. Hiccups. <laughs> wash on a 40 degree wash. It's a three and a half to a four mil. It says needle and hook. So, I don't know. But you can cool tumble dry. Fantastic. If you look, I hope that's going to show. I really do. Please focus. There is a gorgeous shawl. And that way around. And a beautiful blanket. But they're not showing up. I don't know what blank what that blanket is. I think they've just found some random patterns and put them on. <laughs> so that was them three yarn cakes, which I love. And with this one, I'm gonna make another call the midwife blanket. I loved making it that much. I'm making another one straight after. I'm so happy. Right. Ben Ben, I'm really sorry, Booch, but I need to show everybody all my yarn and your butt is in the way. No, you can't sit on my knee. You're too big. You're too big. Right, are you going to lay down? Give a kiss and then go lay down. Go on then, go lay down. Good boy. Dogs are worse than kids sometimes. Right, let's go into this nice happy bag. So, the first lot of cotton I got this oh. and of course it blows out Hooray! let's get one out was this it is Rico designs essential cotton lurex can you see the sparkle we're all sparkly here it is zero zero two sparkly yellow to me Shush, doggy dogs. Uh, it says to use number three hook. Hey, shh. Hush. No, hush. Shh. And now the budget cheeps. It is 97% cotton and 3% polyester. There we go. I thought there was only three of these. Or at least there was only three in the picture. Three. 
It does actually four. I think I'm going to make a baby dress or two. <laughs> One of my friends has just had a gorgeous little baby girl. So I'm going to make her a baby dress. Put them back in that bag. But that's not all I got. Now, none of these have labels, so it is a pure guess at them being cotton. I'm saying they're cotton because, I don't know, they're too soft to be. They're a cotton, cotton blend, I think. This is the first one. My daughter's claimed this one. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty, so soft, but no labels. All these next ones I'm going to show you none of them or maybe one or two might have a label but it's very rare so there's that isn't that gorgeous i love it i'm not so sure what my daughter wants me to make her out of it but she wants something out of it and then the next one a little bit more of a sparkle got a nice gold again it's not a lot it's only a little bit i'm not sure what i could make out of it <laughs> Then we've got, I think this is a cotton. I'm not sure, but we've got, there Yeah, that's the colour of it. It's nice pink. There's a fair bit to that one. I reckon I could probably get a little baby top out of that. I love this one. And if there is enough, it's definitely going to be something baby. Look at that. It is gorgeous so pretty i love the coloring it's absolutely beautiful and then this is another one that i absolutely adore look at that so pretty oh i know what i'm going to do with that one crystal from bag of day did the um dress that goes over the oven handle that's what that's going to be if that was red that would go gorgeous in my kitchen hmm we'll see so look at that again not sure what i'm going to make with it something down the line somewhere and something so that was my little bits of cotton put those back in this bag and then we go on to the box right I'll pick it back up again right let me move my cakes because then i can stack it all on my desk i've got a desk guys a proper desk with drawers and everything i would show you but it's kind of a mess i've had it when did I get it? I got it Saturday. So, I've only had it a few, <laughs> a few days. <laughs> but already it's a mess. Can you see I'm collecting boys' bags? <laughs> or you can just see the edge of my sewing machine. That's why my desk is a mess. I've been sewing. And I've got everything that I want to show you. So, right. I have started to kick some of these up because they were a mess. And I just needed something very, very mindless to, and I mean very mindless. <laughs> I didn't need to think, I just held and wound. That's all I have left of my great big skein of yarn that I used on the Call the Midwife blanket. There is enough in there to make a baby hat, which is what I'm going to make to go with the blanket. And I've actually found a pattern that, rep that shows the same pattern. So, yeah. <laughs> If I can find it, I will link it, but I cannot promise anything because, yeah, my dad, mine's decided to go by. Mm. And to top it all off, my job has changed. Still working at the school, still working as a dinner lady, but they don't know whether I'm in the hall sorting out the trays or whether I'm with the children on the playground. I want to be in the hall. It's coming cold. I want to stay inside. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Right, so let's show you this one. 
And there's my first one. Again, I think this is a cotton blend. I love it. I love the different shades of blue with the white and everything. It's gorgeous. I'm going to try and get this done really quick because I've just seen how long this video is already. And I had a meltdown, so there's that one. I don't know what any of these are, but this one is beautiful. Look at all the different colours in that. And there is like a brownie colour in there too. Bright, bright royal blue. Beautiful. But I don't know what it's made from. Then we have got this one. Two of. Love this colour. My favourite colour. And it's, it's a bit darker than what it's showing on the screen. In fact, it's a lot darker than what it's showing on the screen. The sun's decided to play peekaboo with the clouds. Uh, what else have I caked up so far? I've got a pink one. And I've got an off-whitey. No. That is an extremely pale yellow. A very pale yellow. I mean, that's a pale yellow as well. But not that pale. Got some yellows. <clears throat> we have got a very baby pink. See, a lot of these will be made into squares and hats. And I know I haven't got it done yet, and I really will. I will do a video about my charity donating, and I will. Now, this shawl is made out of King Cole Splash. Now, I can't remember the name of the colourway. I know it was a grey one. Now, looking around in Boise's, and I found some more. Now, I was... Again, this great big box. I didn't know what was in it. I just said, yeah, give me a yarn. I'll pay for it. There was this. Which is... Splash. Now, this isn't a full ball. But it did have... I want to put my finger where my thing was. There we go. It did have the label. So, King Curl DK Splash. I really hope you can see that. It's very difficult to... Uh, hang on. Oops, let's hold it that way. There we go. Kind of. I've ruled it all up, guys. That's why. And I've got my finger stuck in the middle of there so I can put it back away. Now, this shade is called Denim. And it looks like denim to me. It is 100 grams, 100% 100 acrylic. Now... It was 100 grams, it's not now, but per 100 grams, there are 320 yards, 290 metres. Uh, made in Turkey. It says to use 4mm US 5 knitting needles. Now I use the size 5, I did on that. But, to get it lacier, I think I'm going to remake and I'm going to do it in a 6 and see how that works out. It's going to make it bigger it's going to make it more of a shawl that's more like a scarf so yeah we got that one and if you look it's got these these little bits that are like the bloom yarns that everybody's been going at i don't know i don't think it makes flowers you see i didn't realize and on here i've done double crochets so i'll have a play and have a look what that comes up as oh yes now my ball winder decided to play funny buggers. Sorry for the language, but it decided to have... Let's give it a hat, it decided. I don't know what's the matter with my yarn winder at the minute. It's really... Annoying, but it's done it, and it looks like an actual cupcake with frosting on the top. The shape, it's gone down, and then icing on the top. <laughs> I do have another ball, but I haven't wound it yet. Uh, two more purple. Right, this one I absolutely adore and there is only a little bit. I think I can only get a kitty hat out of it. But it's a pretty thick yarn and it is such a beautiful colour. Gorgeous. And we've got another pink one. Now these are all balls now. I haven't got any more hanked up. No. Oh yes I do, I've got one here. My tummy, tummy is grumbling at me. I think it's telling me I'm hungry. That's the other one. 
See, I don't know what, look at that. I don't know what my yarn winder play that. But that is beautiful. I don't know, I think that's an acrylic. Again, most of these are all gonna become baby hats and squares. We have got a sparkly purple. Can you see the sparkle in that? What do you reckon, Rose? <laughs> Can you see the sparkle? Oh, there you are. Kind of see it there. <laughs> Gotta wind that up. Uh, oh, more purple. <laughs> I think, oh my goodness, hang on. And another purple. This one, <coughs> this is what the pound shop used to have as yarn. This is an old one. It's 50 gram, 150 meters, 100% acrylic. <coughs> Sorry, that was <laughs> joking on fresh air. Because, you know, that's the thing I do. Uh, that's the old style of the balls of wool. <coughs> oh, dear. <coughs> Let me have a drink, see if that'll help. <coughs> mm. Do you ever find when you get a brand new kettle and you make a cup of tea, it tastes funny first? It tastes... To me... I don't know whether this is going to be a right term or anything, but it tastes clinical. I don't know. I think it's just because it's brand new. <laughs> My husband tripped me to a new kettle yesterday because I broke ours. I think I kind of overused it, but I'll get to that at the end because that's a life update or another reason for this week to get any worse. But more purple. I'm not doing bad with the purple here. Oh, look. Another little bit of purple. I think I might take a little bit of each and turn it into a very special yarn cake. Mm. Right, I think that's it for the purple. We have got some blues. So we've got this gorgeous dark knit. It's a little bit darker than what my screen is showing. But it's so soft and squishy. But, oh, guys, this pile's getting too big. Oh, look at that it's gorgeous now if i'm not mistaken i am very sure this is oh which one was it it's either the kinkle tweed or the style craft tweed but i know i've seen it in boises so i shall have another look i might actually go back and watch my video of where it, when I took you shopping, because I'm pretty sure I got it on there. So, yeah. Beautiful. Again, they're going to be hats. And then we've got... Oh, two, three. There's another one. If I collect all the same colour, then it's easier to show. She says... Ooh. Can you tell I haven't had a good dig through yet? So, we've got some red. We have got... This little bar of red. That's, I think this is one of the pound shop ones. Again, just plain red. I think it's about a 50 gram ball. No label. We've got this red. This one's a little bit thicker. Not much, but a little bit. <laughs> and we've got this red. Which has just been completely blown out. But it's red. Pretty much a pillar box red. And then we have got this burgundy red, but that is it. So I'm not sure what that's going to be turned into. Then we have got this. I don't know what it is. It's yellow. The con it feels feels like my red hat that I got my ombre. Not scratchy or rough or anything, but sturdy. So, I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. And we have got... A blue. Oh, crud. Ah, there we go. And a grey. Now, these are all the same. No. That's it, I think, for them ones. Ooh, that's pretty. Show that one next. Yeah. So, only them three. Then look at this. 
isn't that gorgeous now I've not worked with the unforgettable or red heart unforgettable or anything like that but this goes from thick to thin and it looks like more of a roving yarn so I wonder whether that is what this might be like it's soft now it's blue but you know when it's that blue it looks green that's what that looks like or it does to me I could just be colour blind or blind full stop then we have got a little ball of dark grey a big ball of medium grey I thought I had the light grey no I don't but two balls of grey which is always helpful I'm going to pick my cup up I'm going to hold it in my hand and drink it I have got oh James C. Brett <clears throat> sorry guys is the next one top value it's not a whole ball the shade is 843 whatever that is it's that color I don't know, it's like um really pale beigey pale beige color <laughs> color it is a hundred percent acrylic uh 100 grams doesn't say well it's supposed to be 100 grams this one isn't made in England whereabouts oh guys guess where I want to go this is in Bingley 20 minutes away from my brother who lives in Bradford guess where I need to go guys oh, I'm so going for a visit I visit my brother anyway, because that's where I get my material and my yarn from, <laughs> in Leeds. But James C. Brett is in Bingley. <gasps> I need to find out. I'm going to do some research, guys, and I will let you know. I will get back in touch. I'm going to do some research, and I'm going to find out if they have a website and sign-ups for um, sales. I'm going to have a look. Um, I think I've shown you this one because it came out of my stash. I don't know why it's in there. It's Peyton's Diploma Wool Rich High Performance DK. Anti stretch blend, spun for life. Ooh. Oh, this one's made in Darlington. Made in the UK by Plains and Baldwin Limited, Darlington. That's not far either. Hmm. I think that needs to be driving. 60% <clears throat> wool, 40% acrylic. 50 gram ball. Then we have got <laughs> another very pale yellow. But not as pale as the first one. I'm running out of room, guys. We've got that yellow, which is going to come in very handy. We've got white, but not brilliant white. It's, you know, I can describe it as like an antique white. See, the screen's blowing it out. It's like a creamy white. We've got a very pale mint green. And another pink and we've got a brown so that I'm gonna try and put it all back in here that's that lot of yarn. that lot of yarn that's not at all just wait guys yeah. whoever said retail ther retail therapy didn't work <laughs> we're lying <laughs> I love retail therapy. The best kind of therapy ever. <laughs> I'm sure any yarn buyer will attest to that. I can put my cup down now. Right, so that's this few bits. Oh, and while I'm putting this lot away before I get my next lot, guess what I've done? I've ordered a bag. Not just any bag. I've ordered a bag from Billy, the crafty Floridian. I can't! 
<laughs> She's showing some fabrics and I saw it, it's like, oh, I remember that being on purse cards. I had to get it as soon as it comes through. I shall show you. But I told her, don't rush. There is no rush. Don't want her to go out when she doesn't need to. Especially with the weather at the moment. You see, I don't watch TV. <clears throat> so the only information I've had about Hurricane Darian, the first I heard of it was from my lovely friends on YouTube. So I hope everybody is staying safe and not going out if they do not need to. Right, where is my elbow bag? Mm, I showed you that lot. Can't keep up with it all, guys. Ah, here it is. Do, do, do. Uh, I can't get it out. You see? Because, obviously, I showed you my last bag. Oh my gosh, look at this, how long this is. I showed you my last bag, my large tote. Well, I got a lot of interest in that. So, I've got some more to make. So, when I have cut them out, I'm going to put them in my in tray. <laughs> so, any orders I get, I can put in my in tray. At the minute, it's just going to hold my book. Can I guess what I've got to make? Probably not. <laughs> I'll tell you when I start it. Right, so, I've shown you this one before. I got another three because I am making a baby blanket out of it now they're only a 50 gram ball so hopefully it's 300 grams how much how much do you get in let me see 30 rows 10 by 10 squared do, 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 do. mix and match peach magic knit no it doesn't tell you how much yardage Fifty grams of a double knit. I'd say you get in about one hundred and fifty yards. I'm definitely wrong, but it is a guess. So I didn't think three was going to be enough, so I got another three. But whilst I was getting that three, I found this one. Now. Ooh, it's called Pinks. It's really soft. You can see there's pink, purple, yellow, and because it's blowing out, we all know there's white there. Now, it's called Pinks. Now, let me show you on this one. This one, oh, I need to be able to see. It's called Peach, right? But then down here, it said Magic Knit. This one says streamers. I really hope you can see that. But if not, please do take my word for it. It says streamers. So it's going to be stripey. So I got three. <laughs> These two match with how they're wound. Compared to that one. But it's going to look pretty. I don't know what I'm going to make with it. I might make a cow up. No, I might make a scar. I wonder if I can get a divine hat out of one, I could do a divine scarf out of the other two. Oh, guess what I'm gonna do? So, yeah, there's those yarns. Right, that's all my yarn. Now, I'm not buying any more yarn for a long, long time because there is a really good reason. I'm going to start my driving lessons. I think it's about time. <laughs> because it's really difficult bringing yarn home on a bus. No. <laughs> no, that's not it. <laughs> no. Um, I constantly rely on my dad to take me everywhere. That's at a distance. Or the train. And it's very difficult. And as I mentioned earlier, my daughter is back and forth to the hospital. But not the one that's just a bus ride away no they're sending her to york which as i've said it's 
a long way away. I'm in Scarborough. <laughs> it's an hour and a half. And that's moderate traffic. If it's heavy traffic, it's going to take a hell of a sight longer. So, I decided I'm going to learn how to drive. Now, if I want to be driving in time to take my daughter to the hospital, I need to be driving and passed by December. Because my daughter's at the hospital on December 12th. Now, realistically, I don't want to go on a dual carriageway the minute I have passed my test. I will be too scared. I can tell you that. Hands up right away. Can't do it. So, 1st of September, I went looking online, driving, lesson, uh, driving schools and all the rest of it. I found a few. So, brilliant. The day the kids go back, Tuesday, I'll book them. Yeah, guess who didn't get to book her driving lessons because she had no pennies left in the bank because bills decided to take them. The bill for the internet went out. My boiler decided to break. My husband turned the heating on the other morning because it was cold when he got up at four o'clock in the morning. He turned the heating on. He went to leave for work. He turned it off, but it didn't turn off. The thermostat was at zero. The switch... Oh... My stomach. My switch on my wall to say if we want central heat in hot water and how often and whatnot. Off. My boiler was on. I got up about seven o'clock. Ready, it was red hot. It's like, oh, crikey. Turned everything, made sure everything was turned off. It's like, right, it must have only just not long since turned it off. Gets to eight o'clock. I'm opening all the windows in the house. It's too hot, so I guess my phone, text my husband, you need to ring me now. <laughs> or when you get, well, ASAP, I put. So he rang me at 10 o'clock when he was on his dinner break. He says, what's up? I says, the heating isn't turning off. I am too hot. <laughs> I says, check the thermostat, check the switches on the wall. I says, it's got to the point, I've turned the boiler off. I says, right, okay. He says, well, the only thing I can think of, think it is, is, the thermostat thinks it's on when it's not. So I can't get hot water. I have to turn my boiler on and off to get hot water. But I'm on, a t I've got a water tank, which of course takes a very long time to heat up. It can, it takes about four and a half hours for my water tank to heat up. For me to have my boiler on for four and a half hours, my house is way too hot to the point of I am sweating buckets I'm gonna sweat the weight off I've just gained <laughs> so walk around open all the windows try and get it out phones because I'm in a council house housing association phoned them up told them the situation what was happening the fact that I've got young children it needs sorting I can't not have hot water but I can't keep the heating on because it's too hot and it's gonna make them poorly We'll book you an appointment. So our next appointment is the 24th of September. I says, I can't go that long. I says, I've got no hot water. I've got two children. One's eight and one's 13, 13 14. I says, my 14 year old has psoriasis and she does. The heat. The sun helps, the heat doesn't. Especially dry heat. And central heating is a dry heat. No. We'll fit you in if we can sooner. So I've got to go three weeks with messing about with my boiler. No hot water unless I leave my heating on for four and a half hours. And I can't leave my heating on four and a half hours while I'm out because I'm a poor dog. So all that to say, I didn't book my driving lessons this week. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, toes crossed, legs crossed, eyes crossed, <laughs> I'm hoping I can get it next week. But in the meantime, the bags that I make, oh, my st I think I need to get something to eat, guys. I'm going in a minute. Um, I'm going to sell some of the bags I make. I'm going to do the big totes. I'm playing around with a little zippered, like, pencil case, hook pouch, cubey thing. Having to play around at doing one of them. So hopefully the next video... I can show you some updates and that'll just go towards 
driving lessons for me to be able to tip, get to the to appointments that I needed for my daughter. So, I did actually get some new material. Oh, my stomach. And it's a, it's a little bit to me. <laughs> it's only a little bit. <laughs> it is only a little bit, I promise. They're not great big masses of it. Because Boise has a bagging bin. And in that bagging bin, I found some fabric. Yeah, it was all in the bagging bin. <laughs> the first one I found, this is so stinking cute. I cannot wait to make, and this is going to be a big tote bag. Look at that, it's unicorns and bears in hot air balloons. <laughs> Isn't it cute? It's gorgeous. No, it's, fifth, it's half a metre. So, I got, sorry, that's the price tag. It's 100% cotton. So I got one. And I got two. <laughs> and I got three. I really cannot wait. Now, half a metre is enough to do a bag. With all the pockets. I don't know what I'm going to have on the inside. Oh, yes, I do. So, there's them ones. Then I got some stars. So pretty. Got some stars. This is such a... A durable fabric this next one I can't wait to make something with this look at that and this is like for an inside of a bag so it's gonna give it such stability so I got what is it oh, it's a meter I got a meter <laughs> there's that one I got this one 100% uh, cotton Oh, I am showing it the right way up. <laughs> got that one. I didn't just get one of them ones. I got two. Is that a meter two? Yes. A meter there. I got two of them. I got some plain green because that's a liner. This is going to be a liner. Now this is 50% cotton, 55% cotton and 45% polyester. And I got half a meter of it. But I love it. It's gorgeous. And I was thinking that... Mm, no, it's not going to work with that. I was saying it might work with the bears. Uh, with the unicorns, but it won't. We got another floral one. And just because it was there, and I absolutely loved the other one I got, I got some more owls. I got some more pretty owls. I got them on pink this time. That was that one. And we get some more florals. So a lot of these are to go off with as insides for other materials I've got. Apart from the unicorns, that's definitely going to be an outside. Oh yes, I found them ones. I found some ones that I had that I forgot I had. I actually bought them and started making pyjamas for my son. Which was a bent ultra we won't talk about because it was a massive feel. But to my defence, I always like to jump feet first. You know, two feet first, not just dabbling my toes in. And I decided as soon as I made an apron that my friend's mum showed me how to make. Made an apron, brilliant, I can sew. I came home and decided I was going to make a pair of pyjamas. With a pattern. Never followed a sewing pattern in my life. But, oh well. So, long story short, here's the material I bought to make my son some pyjamas. <laughs> but it's cute, so it's all good. And then I got some silky ones. I'm still going to make my son something out of these. I don't know what, but we've got this one. Now this is, well, I can see you. Can you see me? It's a very thin material. So I think I'm just going to make him... Oh, I know what, no. This is going to be a nice curtain because he's got one of those high-rise beds. I'm going to make a privacy curtain, a kind of a privacy curtain to go under, to go across the under, of his, under part of his bed and put some nice pretty lights up and it can be his little reading corner because he loves space still. I managed to find him a key ring the other week 
a NASA key ring and I gave it to him the other day because I'd forgotten where I put it <laughs> and then I found it. I found it the other day and I have never seen my little boy so excited to receive anything other than that key ring. Oh, other than the other key ring he decided he wanted from me. The little mushroom one because he loves Mario. But anyway, here is the other one. <laughs> Flip that down. There we go. That's all of it. Greens and blues and rockets. And I don't know what the numbers are or anything on the planets, but I'm sure my son will. Kindly enlighten me when he sees it. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do them as a privacy curtain type thing because it's not a really big gap. So if I line them. So I'll do them back to back. So that on one side, that on the other. Can have a nice privacy curtain. It'll look nice and pretty for him. Right, I've lost my book. Where's my notes? Cause oh, we're nearly an hour. Oh my gosh, guys, sorry. Um, and I've still got plenty to show you. This is what happens when you have a meltdown before you start anything. Right, I found myself needing an address book. All the years, I've been alive, I've never needed an address book. Now, when I was a kid, when I was about a teenager, I got a gorgeous jewel book set, birthdays and addresses, and it was gorgeous. Never used it. And you think I can find it? Nope. So I went and bought them. How cute is that? It's gorgeous. So it's a birthdays and address book. And this is for... When I'm sending stuff, you know, so I don't forget addresses and lose them like I keep doing with poor Rosie's address. Twice she sent me it and twice I have deleted the email. But I'm pretty sure I've got it wrote down somewhere. I will find it. Um. So, yeah, I can write it in my book and not lose it because this book stays in the bottom drawer. I nearly said top drawer, but it's not. Bottom drawer of my new desk. So, I did get a couple new books. I got one stitch pattern book, so, you know. I needed borders to go with it. And the border came with a stitch book too, so I got both of them. I will do... A, <laughs> can you tell I've been pinning? Well, bookmarking. So, I will do a review on these books and post that up. I'm going really quick now. <laughs> Because I've just seen how long it's taken. I've just got the Crochet Now magazine. And it had this extra little bit. Oh, two extra little bits. Had this one with 12 patterns. I can show you the patterns. So here are the patterns. Which are so stinking cute. I love the little bear. I'm going to make the hat. I'm going to make the cowl. I'm going possibly to make that one as well. Possibly. Now, three, six, nine, ten, eleven. That's got two. It's got the pattern for the big one. And then just on top of the big one, there's a the small one. Got a pattern for each. So there's that. I also got this. Uh, only a quick show. And only part, these parts here. It's got all the charts for it for it and the pattern for it and it is a corner to corner so I'm gonna have a play with that some time possibly in the future and then the magazine this is a gorgeous and I'm gonna make this I'll quickly find that it says five amazing blankets but I des definitely want to make that other one poncho there it is it's called the Norway Spruce Blanket. Look, look at that. Let me read some information for you. It's done in DK with a 3.5 millimeter or 4 millimeter hook. Three stars for adventurous. So I reckon it's going to be a little bit difficult. Um, they've used, I'm going to butcher this name, Seda. Third hour, uh, 100 gram balls, seven balls in jade, which I'm presuming is the dark green, 
three balls in the mustard, which is a yellow, the wishbone, which is the white, and spearmint, which is the pale green. Um, that's about 230 metres per 100 gram ball, 50 gram, 50% uh, nylon and 50% acrylic. So, oh, and that's all available from the Wool Warehouse, which, if you notice, no. I'm going to see if it is for the wool warehouse. And if it is, I'm going to get those exact colours. And I'm going to make that blanket. Now, I'm, is that... I think that is the designer of the blanket. I'm not sure. She is called Rosina Plain. I hope I didn't get that wrong. So, yes, I want to make that blanket. And I've got the whole pattern, the chart for the colour changes, all of it. Gorgeous. Let's have a look. Wonderful. Um, I don't know. I'm just looking where the gift card part is. Sorry, guys. Uh, lots of other patterns. This is gorgeous. Look at that. So many different stitches. Absolutely beautiful. Oh no, sorry. One, two, three. I think there's only four different types. Twisted stitch, stripe, twisted, bobble, twisted, bobble, finish. Oh. It says it's beginner friendly. Uh, Stylecraft Bellissima it's been made out of. Hmm. Looks good. Textured diamond throw. Now, there is a close-up. Let's see if I can show you this without actually... There we are. Look at that. I hope that focuses, guys. I'm really sorry if it doesn't. But it looks pretty. And I think... Oh no, there's that one there. There's a rug, there's loads. There's absolutely all sorts, so I like that. <laughs> this is the issue 46. I think it's a Halloween one because there is that Halloween wreath inside it to make. So yeah, right. This is taking forever, guys. I am so sorry. Um. I'll quickly mention my Super 6. I will put them all in the description box below. So we've got Hannah from the Cozy Cottage Crochet. There's Jane from Scraptastic Yarns Podcast. Podcast. Then we all know and love Classy Kim. Then there's Cinnamon Stitches. I really can't remember her name. And I watched one of her videos not about an hour and a half ago. <laughs> I started to watch. Um, then we've got, of course, Lisa's crochet. Hi, Lisa. And Rose likes crochet because I got a notification. Rose has just subscribed to me. Oh, my goodness. I got the big ones starting to come over and say hi. And if you watch The Secret Yarnery, Krista, which I'm sure we all do, she has just done two... Um, live chats or friday lives the last two have been of all of different podcasters and i'm not kidding you my name got called out oh my gosh yes she called me out along with a loads load of others please go watch i will link it in the description box below i have both of them go watch she goes from a to z full of podcasters there are so many there that i don't know they've got to be at least i don't, I don't know I, I didn't watch the first video i missed it i was busy at least between three five hundred different podcasters a lot of them i've heard of but not managed to get to subscribe to i've subscribed to a lot my 
video lists gone from this many and being able to keep up and watching them every day to this much and not being able to keep up in the month. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Go watch. I will put all the links in the description. And I am really sorry, guys, this has gone over an hour. My goodness, but I have had a lot to show. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to wish you all well. Stay safe. Please, if you are in Florida, do not go out if you do not need to. Please stay safe. And I think that is about everything. So I shall leave you all for now because it's a work day. <laughs> it's hard. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm back at work again. So I will do another video and show you my new books. And I shall let you know on my... Um, charity ventures because we've got stuff coming up and keep making magic guys see y'all later Bye. <laughs>